Good morning. We are going to spend some money. So we're just pulling into the auction yard here where Tyler and I bought a corn planter. Tyler, my brother and his wife, they bought uh, their first farm this past winter. And so we're just kind of picking up a little bit of equipment to be able to, you know, basically work together and share some of this stuff, which will be, which will be nice to have. So yeah, we're just kind of pulling up to the yard now to get our turn to pick this planter up. Just waiting their turn, aren't we? Is our planter gonna be a big planter or a little planter? Big. A medium. A medium? Big. Big. What if you flip and throw the PTO? piece there and we'll wrap. Like I got a strap. Maybe that's what I do. Keep yeah. keep it there and then I'll strap it down. Yeah, that looks good. Yeah, you watch. Watch how those chains turn and make sure it's not going too wild. And then we'll see what happens. That was a tight squeeze coming through. <laughs> Nothing like almost taking mirrors off of a nice 350 and 3500 RAM. That would have sucked a lot. Home in one piece. Trouble is. This planter is about this much too wide to fit in that drive shed door. So we'll clean up the corn crib, park it in there for now, and see if Al wants to find a way to make those doors wider. You know that big snow pile we had? We'll shut that off. All winter long, yeah, that was here. And my accuracy in moving snow and not gravel and dirt off the driveway, not perfect. So at least we can tidy this up. It's a very fancy machine. I think it's Tyler's. I wonder if it would work pushing in feed. We better try it. Well, the cows are not impressed. It's not the lightest thing. Brooms are definitely lighter. And it's not overly fast with the bulk of the feed. So trying to make this job easier, I don't think I'm helping anybody. So here's a challenge. You know how we very carefully put our gardens here? Oh, uh, we have to move them completely. What? Yeah, uh, basically because we need to put a new electrical room here. And we're gonna put it here just because all the hydro stuff's here. So we have to move these over there. Okay. Yeah. Um, so we got a full year out of them here before we have to yeah, move them all. Anyway, whatever, we'll, oh, we can do that. Do that today. We'll get them over, I don't know if we'll do it today, it's a little damp. What, we, what I do wanna do is all the raspberries over there, we are also gonna move them because I don't really want them against the drive shed anymore. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna move them, we're gonna put them over there. So that is 
actually going to be one of the jobs I want to do today. Let's take that in. Go touch the drive shed. Okay, we are about... Go a little closer to the post. Yep, perfect. Are you against the drive shed? Can I do it? Well, I'm just going to get it started. Okay. And then you got to use the other one. You're making it scared. There's a square missing. Okay. Again. Now, do you know how to run that? Uh, so, put it down. And then you turn it. Uh, and see how it kind of fills with dirt. And then you pick it up. And you dump up the dirt. Okay? Mm -hmm. And you do it again. I found a worm. Well, keep going. Either pull them out or keep going. One of the two. It's like step one of the barn. We just get it approved and look, we're already digging holes. They are digging today, kind of like an environmental thing. This is on the outside of where the manure pit is. And basically they just dig, find out what kind of dirt they're dealing with. And that way the engineer can like give a better idea for how the pit actually has to be built. Pretty cool. It's like we're actually getting started. clay all the way down to the bottom. For the first time, clay actually pays. If it was sand or lighter soil, we'd need a different way of building the pit. With clay, it's not going anywhere. Well, I think the cement should be set in those posts. So I snipped up with the grinder, just some uh, like livestock panel that I pulled off the barnyard because we're gonna pull it off in another three or four months anyway. So I pulled one off, split that up. That's gonna be our trellis. We'll set those actually when I go to plant the raspberries. Trick is the raspberries are looking at a cold week, some frost, some snow. We're not gonna move them. Instead, we're gonna move the boxes. <laughs> every desert and come back again we could go any distance to chase down every dream we could reach all the stars but in the end i know where we belong i know a place where we can go
time. I wonder what else it can do. Hey! Good timing. I wonder if I did it. Would it put the sea can there and I wouldn't even have to hire the electricians? Oh. I guess I'm still gonna have to pay Steve, John, and Jake to put the sea can in. But the good news is it'll be ready for us to plant the garden over there and them to do whatever the heck they need to do over here. Well, it's a good thing there's still daylight after I'm done chores because the end of the day, we're doing something I've never done and I feel a bit shady doing. Well, this is definitely something different, something I never thought I would do before. I have a cat riding with me. This is Tiger. I am selling Tiger. I've never sold a barn cat before. Now Tiger is a very nice barn cat. We have a lot of very nice barn cats actually. Um, but one of the things we have done in the past is we've given cats away to people to try to keep our flock of them to a minimum. But in pandemic times, giving them away seems too easy. And so I've never put a cat on Kijiji before, but I did. And here we are at the off ramp of the highway selling a cat to someone who's driven out of the city to see if I can make a few bucks, see if it can find a new home. This will be different. It just arrived in a pickup. What do you think, Tiger? You wanna to move to the city? Oh, this is different. Well, that was easy. She took right to it. She was happy. Well, I don't know if she was happy getting in the cat carrier, but she got in the cat carrier and off she goes to be a friend with another cat in the city. And if you ever wondered what a barn cat looks like, it looks like $200. <laughs> I just sold a barn cat for $200. What is this pandemic doing to everyone? 